This flash, this jet boil can actually boil coffee in less than two minutes. We're gonna test that out here on Bubba's Garage. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Guys, I'm changing things up a little bit today because it is freezing cold outside, so I have the garage closed up. It's nice and toasty. I have my heated jacket on so that uh, I don't freeze to death. Then again, I'm here in South Central Texas. So 40 degrees to me is really, really cold. Guys, as you know, we travel around the United States. We use our 17 inch Blackstone griddle on the galley of our rig. And one of the biggest pitfalls about running the griddle on that rig is that it takes a really long time to boil water anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes and that's all the way on high we love our griddles right here in bubbles garage we have a 28 inch right here in the garage we have a 36 inch out on the patio and then we have that 17 inch that's mounted in our rig i've heard a lot about jet boil so i decided to take the plunge and get one now, I'm going to try this out a little bit later right here on Bubba's Garage, but before I did that, I kind of wanted to take a sneak peek at it, maybe give you guys a first impressions and my thoughts about it. I've already opened it up, and I'm really impressed with the product itself, but we'll never know until we actually get it tested. So what I want to do is just kind of give you guys a little bit of insight. This Jet Boil, now this is the Jet Boil Flash. Now, they have the Jet Boil and then they have the jet boil flash. The flash basically comes with the accessories needed to turn this thing into a French press. And we're gonna show you that here in just a moment. The bottom of this thing is a one cup measuring cup, which is really cool. It's, uh, you can eat, you can drink out of it, that kind of stuff, but it's, it's like a measuring cup. There's a little deal on there for one cup. There's a half a cup, and I'm guessing the bottom line, there is a quarter cup. And then we have uh, the bottom of this. This is the fins and stuff. This is where you're going to put your burner. It's going to attach right here, and then you'll attach it to a fuel pack. Now, I did get an extra fuel pack because of the test that we're going to run right here on Bubba's Garage. I'm going to use this for most of my tests. But I do have another fuel pack that's actually nicely tucked away inside of the jet boil itself. It's really cool. So you got our lid. It's like a silicone lid. Now, you can get these in different color. So, um, I just got it in green just because that's the only one I could find that had the French press kit. The French, this here is the French press kit. He comes with your strainer for your coffee. He comes with the little adapters and things like that that you would need to attach it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, nothing complicated. It's real simple, just a typical press for your coffee. You screw that on just like that. And that's pretty much the press. Now, what you're gonna do though, it, when you put this together, is you're gonna actually take and put the rod through the lid first, then you're gonna screw on your strainer for your coffee, kind of like that, kind of like that. And that's how that's gonna go together. And we'll set that aside for just right now. And then I have the small, this is a, let's see, this here is a hundred gram. A hundred gram says you can get at a hundred percent. If it's full, you can get 24 boils out of it. Now guys, keep in mind, this flash, this jet boil can actually boil coffee in less than two minutes. We're gonna test that out here on Bubba's Garage because two minutes, if I can get a couple of coffee, a cup of coffee in less than five minutes, I'm gonna be stoked. So we're gonna try that out. So this is a small one. This is, a, this is again, 100 grams here. This is a larger one, it's 230 grams. It won't fit inside of the jet boil, but the 100 gram fits perfectly inside of it. So it's great for portability. So I'm gonna set this one aside because this is, again, this is the one that we're gonna use while we're traveling. Then the next thing is our burner. Now burner, this is where the Jet boil will sit right on top of it, but then we have one other piece inside of here and that is the feet for the actual canister itself. And it's really cool because this is actually designed to work with both the small 
canister as well as the large canister. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the large one on here. It just snaps in place, it's real simple. And then if you pull this cap off, like so, now we have the burner. And burner actually looks like it's in pretty decent, it's a pretty decent design. I mean, this is, uh, I guess it's aluminum, so you wanna be careful. You don't wanna drop it or bang it around too much because then, well, you, you're probably gonna break it. And these things are not cheap. But basically here on the bottom, we have our screw connector for the burner and the fuel. So basically you're gonna take and set this thing down right on top, twist it around there, and you hear the tss, there you go. And then you notice this is where you adjust the fuel, how hot or you know what have you, and then you have your igniter here. Now, one thing it does say on this, on the side of the jet boil is that you need to uh, ignite the flame before you pick this thing up and put it on top. Um, you know, I, I played with that. This, this flame gets really hot, guys. I mean, really hot. Um, but hey, that's the instructions, right? So you light your flame and then you take this thing, don't touch the burner, right? And then you set it down on top, right? It's not, it's there, but it's a little jiggly. Put in, um, the maximum is two cups. So you can't put in, and two cups is about halfway in this particular container. And you don't wanna overfill it because as it boils, you're gonna create a lot of pressure and that stuff's gonna blow right out of the top. So you definitely need to keep it level down at about two cups. Now, what I'm gonna do to test this later on is I'm gonna put in my coffee grounds down in there and I'm gonna put my water in there and I'm gonna let that stuff boil. But the way this French press works and you can leave this press on top while it is boiling. You do not have to take it out. You, you can leave it just like that, light this thing up, let it boil and it's got a neat little handy dandy little color gradient change here. So as this thing gets about halfway, that's when you're gonna crank it off. You're gonna turn off your heat and then let it sit. And then at that point in time, you can take this, you can run your press completely down, and then you'll be ready to pour yourself a cup of good uh, Joe. I'm hoping, I haven't, I haven't made any coffee in this just yet. We're gonna test that out right here on Bubba's Garage, but. I thought it was really neat. I've heard a lot about the jet boil. Um, a lot of reviews, everybody swears by these things. And uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, if it truly can uh, boil a cup or two cups of coffee in less than two minutes, that's gonna be impressive. So I don't know. Again, you know, we run our, our Blackstone griddle set up on the, the rig and it takes a good 10 to 20 minutes to really get it nice and boiling really hot. I don't know. Well, I think this two minute thing is gonna turn out really well. So we're gonna take this all back apart and then we're gonna line it back up in its canis canister here. So taking that off is fairly easy. We're gonna flip that back around. We're gonna set that aside. We're gonna take the feet off of the bottom and they, they do snap in place pretty well. So you'll have to work with it a little bit. I say that and I can't get it off. Maybe, maybe I lied. There we go. They, they do snap in really well, even though it seems wobbly while it's sitting on the tray. And you see that they all fold together. I think that's one of the things that I, I really like so far about it is uh, how well everything just kind of like fits in place. And this is the proper storage. You can turn that upside down. If you have a 100 gram container, you'll put that in on top. Now, they didn't really provide any good instructions on storing this, the uh, actual press itself. Uh, and keep in mind, if you have a Jet Boy, you can order the press kit completely separate. It, it's, uh, it, it's just these two rods and the filter for your coffee. I always store it like this so that uh, I can take these two and just set them right on top and then I can take my lid. And keep in mind, I say always, that's just the way I've done it now. Wait until I actually get out in the field and use this 
it might be a different story. The lid, this, uh, this cup does lock in place, so it's got some grooves on it. So you gotta slide it in the right spot. It's not gonna go anywhere. You can throw this in your chuck box, you'd be good to go. Now something to keep in mind is, uh, you know, we said that was 24 boils. This one is 230 grams and it's 55 boils. I mean, think about it. This one, you should be able to get a good trip out of it. We did our trip around the United States. I think one canister would have done just fine. But honestly, you really never know. Everything sounds great. All the specs look good. All the reviews are phenomenal. But we're going to run some tests with it right here on Bubba's Garage. We'll probably run a test just cooking the, you know, just boiling the coffee, making a pot of, you know, just a couple of cups of coffee. See how that turns out. And then uh, we'll probably run some comparison tests because we used to run with a stove, like a Coleman stove, and uh, used a percolator. So we'll try the percolator, we'll do the griddle, and we'll do this coffee at the same time. Let's see how fast it works, uh, how well it works. And something else I wanna note, this is the Jet Boil Jet Power. Um, it's basically like a 50% propane, 50% butane, I believe. Um, so I'm really curious about like, what about the Coleman brands of this? I don't know if any other manufacturers make any different brands, but I, I've seen the Coleman brands like at your Walmarts and your Lowe's and things like that. They're half the price. So we're gonna run some tests to compare different fuels as well. And let's, uh, let's see if the Jet Boil brand is any better than like the Coleman brand or things like that. But this design is absolutely phenomenal. If it works the way they say it does, this is gonna be a great addition to our kit. But if you guys wanna find out how all that works out, definitely stick around right here on Bubba's Garage. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick sneak peek at this neat little device. Like I said, they've been around for a while. Everybody is swearing by them, but I have yet to get my hands on one until now. And they're very pricey, so is it worth it? I'm not sure. We'll find out right here at Bubba's Garage. Guys, if you like this video, do me a favor. Give us a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. If you really like this video and you want to stick around to those tests and these updates, please subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody.